An Albany mother and daughter are sharing the terrifying moments as they drove through Sunday's deadly tornado. Christina Moore and her 13-year-old daughter Megan got caught in those 100 mile per hour winds while driving home. WLB News 10's Raisa Buckle spoke with them this afternoon. She's live in the newsroom. Jim, Christina Moore and her daughter Megan tell me that it was their faith that saved their lives as they drove through that devastating tornado. I'm just glad that I'm her mom and I got to comfort her. She wasn't by herself. Christina Moore jumping into full mommy mode when she and her 13 year old daughter Megan were driving through Sunday's deadly tornado. Moore had just left the grocery store when she got stuck in the storm. All I could do was grab that wheel and I said, baby doll, just hang on. God's got his hands wrapped around me. But what happened next would really test their faith. The tree goes down be behind us and it actually scratches the back of the truck like the limbs were hitting the back of the truck. Downed power lines beating the windows and strong winds causing the truck to sway side to side. And at one point, there were times Moore couldn't tell whether she was on the road or in a ditch. Although Mother Nature was out of her control, she could calm her daughter's fears. It made me feel um, good and happy that she was there with me. Smith says what would have been a 15 minute drive home felt like eternity. At the time, Moore's other kids and her sister were all hunkered down in the hallway. We got out, I went inside. I comforted the kids, let them know, hey, we're home, we made it okay. As soon as the storm passed, Moore rushed to see the damage outside. Of course, there's shingles everywhere. Uprooted trees on the front lawn, the backyard fence destroyed. The children's trampoline, well, that's over the fence. And the carport was leveled. And after those terrifying moments, one thing that wasn't shaken was Moore's faith. I give God all the glory on that one. He saved our life. He, he wrapped his arms around us just like I promised. I, I, I'm telling you, it was amazing. Christina Moore and her kids are still without power, but she says that her neighbors have been so kind as to cut her wood to use for fire so they can stay warm at night. Live in the newsroom, Reesa Buckles, WAOB News 10.